Hello everyone, I'm Tim from Tim's PC and I build custom PCs to suit anyone's needs or budget. I also live stream all of my builds and repairs for transparency and educational purposes. So if you would like to get an awesome new PC and you'd like to see it get put together live, send me a message today. Alright, so in today's video we're going to cover the Acer Predator Orion 3000 and the steps involved in getting a fresh install of Windows on it. So basically if you if you own one of these you may have tried to um, reinstall the operating system with a USB stick with Windows on it and you might be having some trouble getting it to boot to the USB stick and, and do the install. Or maybe you've got it to the got it to boot to the USB stick but then you can't really get much further than that. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get it working. So let's start by firing it up and I'm going to change the screen here so you can see both. So on this one we hit we hit Dell repeatedly while it's booting up and it will take us to the BIOS screen. So when we're in the BIOS here, there's a couple of things that we need to check. So this is fine, this is fine. Where are we? Integrated peripherals in advance. So we want to change the onboard SATA mode to AHCI. And all oh, this is fine. We want to go down here. We want to make sure that secure boot is turned off. We don't want secure boot getting in the way here. So that needs to be turned off. So to recap, integrated peripherals, AHCI. And then for our authentication, we need to turn off the secure boot. So mark that as disabled. This is all fine and come down here. So the top thing there says launch CSM. So we want to go always and down here for the boot filter, we want to change that to legacy. And then we just want to make sure that the USB stick that we want to boot from is definitely there as the, the first boot device. So it's very important to get all these things in line. But once you've ticked all those boxes, you can then go to exit, save and exit. Computer will turn off. It'll reboot. You don't have to press anything. If you've done everything right, it will just boot up and you'll only see this next screen if you've got 32-bit and 64-bit windows on your USB stick. If not, it will just go straight to this loading files screen and then it will begin the installation. And so from here, it's a relatively straightforward Windows installation. It's not, not really a big deal. So you won't have to enter a product key because it's already it's already in there and so it'll think about it for a little bit work out what it's dealing with and it comes up here we go accept and we go down to custom install so it's going to show up like this see how it says all drive zero that means all this stuff's all on the one drive so what we need to do is we need to we need to delete all this. So we're going to go delete, 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 and now we're just left with drive zero, unallocated space, two hundred and thirty-eight point five gigabytes. And now when we're just left with that, we can click next. and now it will start the installation so really straightforward but you've just got to do all of those steps very very important that to get all of those little steps right along the way because there's different things that can cause this not to work 
you know you can have situations where there's like you get you get this far and you go to get to all the drives there and nothing will show up and stuff and that's got to do with the starter mode and all that so every everything i did there um you may not based on your configuration you might not have to do every one of those steps it might an option might already be in place the way it should be but i'm just showing you everything that you have to look at to make this work and obviously as you can see here once you once you do all that it it's just a pretty ordinary windows installation So anyway, that's it for this video. I'll catch you all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, hit us up on Facebook. So if you want to interact with me directly, you want to ask me a question, hit me up on Facebook and I'll see you in the next video.